Oh, McCann knows her very well. In fact, he alluded to a intimate relationship with Sylvia Odio, Bob McCann, um, and was with Lucille Pinnell, who was a junior leader in Dallas. When I say junior leader, you don't know what I mean by that. That's a society type women. Yeah. You know, who, whose husbands are very wealthy and they go and do philanthropic things and, you know, and, um, for people in the community. But, okay, the anti-casual Cubans, Father McCann told me that they, many of them were wealthy, I mean, when they came from Cuba, um, because they were friends with the Batista or the Prio regimes. So they were, they were wealthy and brought, and brought their things hidden in their socks or um, tips of their shoes or their diamonds and all. And so, um, uh, they used that money to try and move themselves ahead in the Dallas community. Uh, a lot of them didn't, though. A lot of them worked for the Curtis Mathis uh, TV and radio station station building, but they all knew each other. And they would all congregate at White Rock Lake or um, many of the other areas in, in Dallas every few months or so. So when Sylvia Odio said that Lee Harvey Oswald and two Mexicans came to her door. Um, Father Catan was aware of it because she had called him and told him about that. And the reason why he asked and why he remembered it is because the very same night that these people came to her door, she said she was going to a gala in Fort Worth at where Janet um, Lee was going to be and um, Father McCann remembers because she was going, Lucilia was going with Lucille Cannell, and he was upset that they didn't invite him. <laughs> he wanted to go. So uh, he was a very social priest. Does that help you, Bart? Does yeah, that it does. Information? Yeah, it does, but have you got any more about that? Because the thing is, uh, is there any, con I haven't read the chapter myself yet, but is there any connection with, between anti Castro Cubans and, say, the GI Forum? The Cubans that were there. Are, are there any actual is connections that, with the Cubans and what? The GI Forum. I, not to my knowledge, I didn't find any evidence of it at all. And, and Father McCann, Father McCann said, you know, he believes Sylvia Odio, but he never saw Lee Harvey Oswald. Larry Schmidt said he never saw Lee Harvey Oswald. Brady Weissman said he never. And, and um, Kiki Masperer, um, who was another anti-Castro Cuban, but was a Batista supporter. The um, Odios were, were uh, Creo supporters. So, so you have this little political thing going on here in Dallas, too, among the Cubans. So, but all of these people that I talked to, every one of them, none, none of them knew Oswald except the Surrey Sons. The only ones that said that they had ever met him. So no, I didn't find uh, any, I don't know about Lee Harvey Oswald, I don't know. I, I, I hope I'm not going to offend two people when I say I don't look at that man as a hero. I don't. Oh, no. I, 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 don't I don't see him as a hero. No, I don't either. But, okay, I, I hope I'm not going to offend any of you, but I also don't think that he is a lone assassin. I, I don't really know if he even took a shot, you know? That doesn't mean that he shouldn't have been tried for his for his what he knew mm -hmm. and this stuff. But I I I I just don't think that it was him. I, and that's I'm almost sixty. So that's for, for years of, of research and being around people who were there and that's what I think. So what do you guys think? Do y'all think Lee Harvey Oswald did it? Acting alone is a hero? Uh, How many say he's a hero? How many people say he's a hero? What raise your hand? Yeah. This guy, whoever this is. I've got two, I've got two people. Two, two, two people. people. Three of you think it's him. Well, yeah, I, I agree with you, Bart, and I'll say something else. I believe, especially after doing this research, that Larry Schmidt, I think there were probably, no one ever talks about this, but I think that there were probably a group of little patsies to, to lay this on. And not just in Dallas. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think there was probably in Fort Worth, yeah, pro I'm sorry, yeah. Florida, and probably in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Um, we know in the Dallas area, I totally and and will die 
believing that Larry Schmidt, Brandon Weissman, and those little Kusa boys, that they were next in line to be passionate. I swear. I do. And I think that they will be motivated by the rich powers that be here in Dallas who had military industrial complex connections. General Walker. Do you all know that General Walker was friends with uh, the Kennedy's top, top advisor, uh, Maxwell, can you hear me? Maxwell yeah. Taylor. I mean, they were all friends. I, they, oh, gosh. I, I get so upset when I start thinking about it because I can see all these connections and all these patterns and all these. And no one talks about them. No one in the JFK community, no one, we don't work together to say, oh, my God, here are new facts that we can prove. Let's put this puzzle together. Nobody wants to do it. I hope that you guys aren't part of that. I mean, I hope that y'all over there in the UK are smarter than us over here. And are saying, yeah, we need to put this together, you know? Yeah. I mean, I really do. I really do. Knowing Chris Galley, I believe that, that you guys are. I mean, you know, it's sort of, y'all seem to work together, you know? It doesn't happen over here. It just doesn't. Everybody goes into their own little game war type status and says, ooh. I believe this, and so you're stupid. Or I believe this, and this can't be right. Well, you can't do it that way. You you have to say, okay, here's what we know, and start throwing out what we know and what we don't know, and what we can prove and what we can't prove, and go from there. You know? So you agree? Yeah. 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 We agree. We agree. We agree. I mean, myself. I, the funny thing is, is that from my latest work. I, uh, I got more cooperation from two guys who believe that Oswald did it than actually people that believe in the conspiracy. The, uh, when it comes to identifying people uh, from the Dallas police and the FBI and so forth, with Steve Rowe and uh, with Dennis Morris said, I got more. I know both of them. Yeah, I got more information from them with regards to the identities and so forth than anyone else. Because Does that make you mad, Bart? Does it make you so mad? It makes me so mad. I, 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 I okay, whatever. I mean, go away. And if you don't want to work, and you don't want to work together, go away. You know, go away. I, I don't have time for it. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I agree. It's so, a, total, it's a total waste of time. And uh... we, we are in a time, y'all. This is a closing window. These people are dying. I, I mean, the witnesses who can tell you they, they are dying. And if we do not talk to them and find out what they know and put it together and say, okay, are you full of it, are you psychotic, or are you really trying to share what you know, we're screwed, okay? Because that means we're going to have to depend on the records of the CIA and the FBI and the Secret Service and our freaking U.S. government. No, <laughs> no. I, I, we've, got, we've got to do what we can, what we can do. <laughs> He's laughing and laughing. You agree, don't you? It's true. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Does anyone else have a question? Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. This is Barry. He's going to ask you a question. Barry, are you very, very keen? Yeah. Good. How are you? Can you? I, I can hug you. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for talking to us today. It's and thank a, you for coming, Barry. Thank you for coming. And it's been a real pleasure. And um, I want to thank you for your commitment to this case. Um, it's really important to all of us here. And thank you, thank for, you. Thank you for the glass, your glasses. They're really cool. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my question, my my question to you, Gal. Barry, 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 Barry. Let me, I'm sorry to interject. Okay. My husband said... I shouldn't wear them so they were too distracting, so watch, watch, watch. Wait, wait, wait. I don't care. I like to be distracting. I don't care. Look, look, look. These are my everyday glasses, Barry. Look. See, I wish I didn't have to wear glasses at all, but he told me I should wear those. They're okay. Very good. You look more like a professor. <laughs> yeah. You look, you look good in either pair. Either uh, thank you. Uh, my, okay, my, my question is to you is that do you think that the death of JFK has changed attitudes in Dallas or in Texas? Did it, did it do anything? Has any good come out of the fact that this man was murdered in your state? You know what, Barry? I have sent letters to our mayors over the years and saying, you know, why can we not just face what happened here and get to the truth and, and talk about it? And they're, they, they want to still like, move away and act like it really didn't 
happened. I can't you imagine the Germans saying that there was no Holocaust? You know? I mean, can you imagine? I think that we need to face it here, but no, they're not going to do it. They're still, they think it brings a pall upon our city, you know, that it brings a, and it doesn't. I, I mean, it, it, these things happen, and history happens, and yes, we had slaves, and yes, we had a confederacy. These things happen, but what they're doing over here now are taking away the statues and all that. That's all fine and good, but... It's not going to erase history. I mean, that happened. These things happen, yeah. you know? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I can't get anyone in Dallas to help me uh, uh, can't bring uh, politically with trying to find my grandfather's film. I, I mean, I can't. I, 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 I've never been able to. The only one is Robert Blake for the House of Electric Bank. And he says he will take full responsibility for it being lost. You know? Well, the other thing I want to say is the best of the tour is around the country. If you're trying to get this film back, then don't give up. I'm sure you watch the show. You're going to try to see ladies that will never give up. And we love you for it. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. And thank you. It's very good to be here. Oh, you too. We should be here in person. Yeah. Speaking of... Oh, and you part to make my day. Karen's <laughs> always been so <laughs> nice. I'm so glad to be here. I'm thank you. No thank you. The question is all ours. Uh, regarding the, uh, your granddad's film, uh, there are... Chris Scully drops a few hints, and I think you have as well, um, about who actually has the original. And yeah. there are... Your point, of, well, Chris Scully's point the finger that Robert Groden might have it. Well, okay, I'm going to be honest with you, Bart, and y'all, here I am, I'm going to upset y'all again, I know, I am an opinionated woman, I will, I, I just am, I, I just am, and I have dealt with people, and it, it bothers me when people aren't transparent with one another, you know, my agenda has been, and always will be, trying to find my grandfather's original film, there have been people that said, what does it matter, what does it matter, well, I don't want to cuss, but it matters, it freaking matters. We cannot prove whether there was someone or there wasn't someone on the know without the original film. We can't do it. Uh, there's too much room for error. There's too much... I mean, why do people not understand this? I mean, why do you not get it? But I have had people who leave conferences in Dallas um, say, why is she all upset about, why is she all upset about copies everywhere? She's got a first-generation copy. It's true, I do. But... David Lipton, Steve Barber, who's a long nutter, uh, Harrison Livingstone, who fought with him all the time. See, there's all these little things you have to add into. All suggested that he took it when he worked for the House Select Committee. Okay? Uh, Mo Whiteman said that that's what he did. So me, being the opinionated, pushy Texas broad that I am, I went uh, to his home when he lived in uh, Philadelphia. And when he was married to his first wife before she died. And I asked him, point blank, Bart, like you and I are talking right now, I said, okay, Robert, do you have my film? I mean, if you have it, just give it to me. I am not, I am not gonna, gonna prosecute you. I'm not gonna just give you my freaking films. <laughs> and, he said, and he said, I don't have it, Gail. I said, okay. So I went in there to his wife, who was in the kitchen, and was very quiet and very nice on the guy. And I said to her, I said, okay, Chris, I hate to pull you in the middle of this. I hate it. I, it's like asking, is your husband having an affair? I, I, I don't like it. I, I mean, doing this. But do you think that Robert knows where, where my help, does Robert have my help? And Bart, she looked straight down at the ground and wouldn't answer. Now, what does that tell you guys? What, what does that tell y'all? You know? I mean, I'm not a dumb blonde. I, I, I got the message that she was trying to push there. But... If he does have it, he's got it hidden, and he's not letting it out because this big, broad, Texas broad woman talking and screaming, you know? Now, what Chris and I, where we have a problem, is my grandfather said from the very beginning, told us, our whole family, that when he got it back from the FBI, it was different. I mean, from day one. And y'all need to remember, the FBI didn't get my grandfather's film until after they had had his approval for a week. Because my grandfather had gone to a, a football game and um, it filmed my future aunt at, at the football game aunt at the at the at the football game. 
So um, he didn't turn it into have it even developed until a week after the assassination. So the FBI had it from December 1st to December 4th. Four days after the 